is Jordan Landsgard on the halter of <clears throat> Landsbrook Cherokee. Following behind him is Trent Hankus on the halter of Landbrook Crystalline. Coming by behind Trent is Trisha Peterson on North Star's Slingin' Pop Tart. Sired by Kuzmar Mledslinger, Clarefield Mocha, Blissful Diamond Sam, and a Kuzmar Mledslinger. Following next is Mike Halpin with Halpin's Mona 2. Sired by Kate's PT, Tangerine's Target. Following behind Mike is Cindy Clymer on Landrum's Enhanced Essence, a daughter of Innisfail Enhancer. Following behind Cindy is Jamie Wilson with Rohan MPS Piper ET, a daughter of Maryville Plumchuck. Following in behind is Emily Allum on Green Acres Academy Seasons, a daughter of Hilltop Academy. <laughs> Following behind Emily is Nicole Allen on Goldmine G. Shimmer 838, a daughter of Goldmine E.B. Rose P.O.D. Gator. Behind Nicole is Emily, excuse me, is Elaine um, Bodie Halterman on Goldmine SM Classic Diva ET, a daughter of Wildwood Diane's Classic. Following in behind Elaine is Tom Landrum on Landrum's 2 Clarice, a daughter of Innisfail Lothario. Following behind, behind Tom is Billy Latire with Innisfail RO Lady. 7088 EXP, a daughter of Innisfail Red Robin. Next is Mapleton Valley, J.D. LaFleurt, being led by Phyllis Agnew and sired by Mapleton Valley, Rebel Julius. Following in behind Phyllis is Candace Wetter with Goldmine QO Mill Italy 838, a daughter of Hardcore Plum Millionaire. Following next is Pat Agnew with Mapleton Value, FD Miss Zoe ET, a daughter of Mapleton Valley AC Foundation. Following behind Pat is Katie Agnew with Mapleton Valley FD Roulette, another daughter of Mapleton Valley AC Foundation. Next is Mike Bodie with Barty Krause SM Fantasy ET EXP, a daughter of WNA Sandra's Rebels Supreme. Two more. Two more. Following behind Mike is Andrew Rice with Halpin's Racial, another daughter of Kate's PT Tangerine's Target. And the last animal in for our 53rd AMSS Futurity is Matt Mackison with Halpin Sonia, a daughter of Kingsdale Cassis Adonis. These sappers are in competition for $3,600 in prize money. Let's have a big hand of applause for these outstanding animals, the milking shorthorns, the breeds with big accomplishments. Thank you. If you're marking your catalogs in the Milking Shorthorn Show, for fall yearlings, there were two animals shown, and I do have one correction. The winning junior was entry 2502, Innisfail Johathan Rosie, exhibited by Lindsay Clark of Cornish Flat, New Hampshire. 
That animal also plays second in the class. If you'd like to direct your attention to the milking shorthorn ring, Judge Mosier has completed his placings on the Futurity class. Our third place winner goes to entry 2872, Cherrywood Mega Mitzi, exhibited by Jacob Aiken of Sauk Center, Minnesota. Our second place winner is entry 2431, Landsbrook Cherokee ET, exhibited by Monica Landsgard, Landbrook's Farm of St. Olaf, Iowa. And winning our fraternity this year is entry 2521, Mapleton Valley FD Roulette, exhibited by Mapleton Valley Farms of Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Judge Mosier, your comments. In Milking Shorthorn Ring, I, I just love these futurity classes. This class is a two-year-old. Uh, this was three years in the making. You bred the cow. You, you with the sire of your choice. You made the payments. Uh, you worked on them, looked at them every day as they came along, and, and this is a culmination of what we've got. And I think the heifer that we're starting the a uh, young cow that we're starting the class with today. She's a full-age senior, two-year-old, that's been milking longer than any animal in the class. I think she quite easily comes to the top of this with that openness of rib, the cleanliness of rib that she's got uh, for being uh, milking as long as she has. A heifer with our young cow with so much balance, uh, I'd like to maybe maybe change her a little bit in, in the teeth placement on her rear udder, but a heifer with a lot of seam, a heifer with a lot of crease, is gonna make a nice young cow for a long time. Following in second with a cow, and I think is made up uh, a guy very much like the, the young cow that we're starting the class with. I really admire the overall strength and balance of this heifer, the width through the chest, the depth, the openness of rib, and a beautiful set of feet and legs that she walks out on. The heifer that I've gotten third, I made uh, the best udder in the class today. Lovely, lovely udder under this uh, young cow, but just not the openness of rib and depth to go over those two big, strong young cows ahead of her. But a heifer in third over the heifer in fourth on that quality of udder, the correctness of teeth placement, uh, size, and shape. Extremely tall, long heifer that we've got here. And in fourth, uh, it's that extreme height at the shoulder, the width through the chest, the overall capacity of the cow that carries her over a beautifully balanced little cow that we've got coming out here in fifth. Really an extremely well-balanced young cow, just not a whole lot of her, but a beautiful udder. And that, the openness of, of the young cow, the cleanliness, uh, the thinness of hide carries her over a little smoother made cow that we've got in sixth. Really a beautiful class of, of young cows all the way down. I'm sure we'll see a lot of them back in the ring here at Expo many times.